Peggy 7. All right, let's get started on the basics. It's currently 1936. So it's current 1936. I mean, ever looked at Pioneer by the way, we are playing their finest hour uh, well, edition of this game. Their finest hour version. Okay, so let's get started on a slow speed. So what I can do now is I can change a law to begin with. Mm -hmm. I can change my economy from now is a consumer product oriented to mixed industry. However, that costs me a bit of money, so a lot of money. We'll do it later. Right now, I have a very strong system. I have what we got a request from Finland. They want to trade with us. Uh, accept that. So I've got the totalitarian system, I've got a two year draft, I've got a war economy, I have massive education investment, I have consumer product orientation, which is not good, propaganda press, which is good, specialist training, I train my soldiers to the max. Mm -hmm. Number two is I'm actually going to pause now. Right. The characters that are involved here, we see, we see yes. uh, Adolf Hitler and Rudolf Hess, etc., yeah. etc., uh, Goering. Um, do these characters, are they are they just window dressing or do they actually have effect they on have the effect. game? They have effects. This is one good thing. So the one only thing you can never automatize, or, say, or you can actually put this one there as well, but we should have normal. So you have Adolf Hitler, who is a power-hungry demagogue, mm -hmm. which gives us a bonus espionage and... Mm -hmm. uh, we, our national unit is a bit stronger. We take less hits from negative. Uh, we got Rudolf Hess, which is a silent workhorse, which goes pos positive industrial capacity. Mm -hmm. Our foreign minister is Konstantin von Neuheit, mm -hmm. who is a great compromiser. I, he makes people more likely to join what happened to What happened to Ribbentrop? Yes, we're going to switch to him. The reason oh. why, later on, he's not available. Okay. Uh, why I don't like this man is because he's fascist, um, and I want a Nazi. You want the fasc you, you want a because I don't want to fracture my government exactly. Right. So I'm just going to choose Goebbels for now. Goebbels, okay. Yeah. Interesting choice. Yeah, very, very interesting. Uh, second, I have Werner von Blumberg as my armament minister. He likes infantry proponent, which means infantry theory decay is slower. This means basically research uh, uh, infantry takes quicker. Mm -hmm. That can be good. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna have a broken because he realized I want Yamachacht. Well, what do you, what do you, what sort of, uh, what sort of army are you going to be focusing? I'm gonna on? use Germany needs to have a lot of infantry. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, they have a lot of backbone to begin with. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, I think one of the mistakes the Germans did in, in the actual war, uh, which I don't want to repeat, is that while tanks were great in the early stages of war, they just didn't work as efficient against uh, Russia. So I like to have a little bit more infantry in mm -hmm. my army. Uh, but I'm actually going to go with Yamachacht because he's an administrative genius. He gives him an extra 10% industrial capacity. This is one of those. If you have one of those, get him. Because <laughs> uh, he's, he's the good one. Exactly. He's the smart one. If you ever played... Um, uh, if, if, you, if you play any of the EU, f EU games, you can get advisors, at least in EU4, which yeah. is coming out later this year. There's a similar system in that. It is, absolutely. Now I'm going to choose my Minister of Security. I have the Prince of Terror type. Uh, for the moment, as Heidrich, they were cruel, they're efficient uh, if you have political problems. My they nation, get shit done. Yeah, but yeah. my nation is actually quite unified. I don't want it. I want Goebbels, because he's a man of people, in a sense. He's a bit big propaganda man. Uh, and he gives me a bit leadership modifier, <laughs> which I like. I have Wilhelm Canais, which mm -hmm. I have the change, because he was actually an anti-Nazi, mm -hmm. which is not good to have in your nation. In your Nazi government? No, no. I know that. Uh, no, Hitler. Of course they didn't. I'm going to choose uh, Willem Frick, because mm -hmm. he has a general uh, espionage bonus. So mm -hmm. I'm going to use him espionage. My chief of staff give me combat movement 10% plus. I mm -hmm. like that. Uh, my chief of the army has uh, armor practical decay, which is good for army research. Or tank research, which normally takes a bit more. Mm -hmm. Uh, my chief of nation, Redo, his capital ships, all of them got capital ships, capital ships. But you're destroyer. not building any capital no, ships. No, I'm not going to build destroyers either. So I'm going to go with capital ship for now. You may as well build one exactly. or two Bismarcks. Exactly. Göring has <laughs> uh, medium bomber practical. I don't want that. I actually want the light aircraft. Right, because you want to win the Battle of Britain quite yes. quickly. Right. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do here. That's my politics. And here we got all the information. What I'm going to do next, I'm actually going to just go through step of step of these different That sounds good. Yeah. So we start with diplomacy. Uh, here you have, down here, the, 
different decision I can do. Uh, and I'm going to do this one. It's first thing I'm going to do later on. It's the reoccupation of the Rhineland. I can later do the Anschluss. And then I have Blitzkrieg, Destiny, and Defense. These are triggered, and you can read the triggers if you scroll over them, each like this. What I'm first going to do, and I recommend everyone who's not a core player to do this, the first thing, I'm going to click Automate Trade. Okay. I'm going to let the AI do trade. Uh, because it's it's a bit tedious. Uh, and it's really if you want to start to wage advanced economic warfare on your enemies. I'm not going to do that for now. Secondly, I'm going to influence nation I want to join the, the Axis. So I'm going to start uh, going with Italy. And I'm going to do with Japan. Uh, there are other nations that might join you, but this don't have that much to offer. These are great powers, even though Italy might be the weakest of the great power. Uh, so they're really useful to have.